Hello again, my friend. You join us once more. You join us once more. You have come once more to witness a tale of the kingdom of Snakewater, a place which will soon witness a great and terrible slaughter. This is a king. Well, yes, it is a king. Actually, we are looking at a king. This is King Alexander the First, a man who thinks defenses are something which you can minimize, even though it is going to lead to his demise. He chooses to spend money on a on an escape boat which will float all the way down the river to a new land guided by his hand. But in, but he chooses not to build up his defence to defend his territory at home. Which is something his people are beginning to bemoan. For without a strong defence at home, soon the monsters will come in and destroy everything he holds dear. Perhaps he should try to manage his economy better. Otherwise, he will soon be finding himself being repurposed as a monster's sweater. But for now, he rides and rides. He just explores a little bit to east and west, east and west. He just looks at his lands, he surveys his folk. But as you can see, it is a sunny setting. And perhaps on this night, he could choke. For every night the monsters grow more stronger, last night we encountered our very first blood moon, something which nearly made us swoon uh, beneath the pressure, which is what we had to deal with, and this pressure did not bring us pre pleasure, neither nor treasure, but at least it brought us the most important gift, the gift of life, which is something I will have to make sure I can live without strife. But the sun has set on the day of six, and now we begin the night of six. So we will make sure we are within our base, we are safe, we are sound, we are away from the horrible things which always make us quite, quite angry, quite angry. I have four silver coins, all these gold, three gold and one bronze coin. It seems that with all these coins I could maybe buy another steak of sirloin. But for now we wait for the night to pass, perhaps I should invest another coin into our defence. Perhaps if I was to strengthen the eastern wall, or maybe not the eastern wall in fact, perhaps the western wall is the one that could use more defences. For the western wall is very likely to fall due to it just being some sticks in the ground which the monsters can take out without very much need to uh, deliver a heavy pound. So we shall just have to uh, keep on building our defences. Perhaps we need to strike a better balance in our life. Perhaps we should have spent the first five days perfecting our defences. Perhaps that is a strategy Mr. Alexander III should have taken, but no. He chooses the path of escape, a most curious path indeed, but it's the path he has chosen. However, it looks like we have not been attacked in the night. We are safe for one more day. So begins the day of seven any second from now. Perhaps we can c create... Uh, a prosperous day today without the monsters running up to us and saying pow but I invest three golden coins into a better wall and perhaps I should even build a great hall but I do not feel it would be necessary with a stronger wall we shall be safe for another night and now I can make sure we can build our boat and then we can hopefully escape without much of a fight so I ride to the east oh yes I do into the misty forests with many deer who like to jump around they do not cheer nor do they jeer they just they just skip they do not judge, they do not judge at all, which is something I guess is good, but against the monsters I hold a mighty grudge. But I have purchased more wood, more wood which, which is good, wood which is pure, wood which is not made out of blood. It will be used to construct our boat, our boat which will float, it will float most nicely, it will float down a river to a new land, guided by my very own hand and the hand of the deceased, those kings and queens who have failed before us. Let us always remember the queens, the two Queen Alexandrias and the two Queen Alexanders who came to this land and tried to establish their kingdoms. However, none will last as long as a kingdom of snake water. Even if snake water is the smallest one and has witnessed quite a fair bit of slaughter, I believe snake water will be the strongest through the virtue of escape and through transportation. For without good transportation, you can hardly call yourself a mighty nation. But I have constructed my boat and now the day is at an end. As you can see, we have completed two layers of three. With one more layer, we could maybe even sail to the mystical village of Bree. 
and even meet with our with our mighty friends beneath the sign of a prancing pony. Though I hear that the man who works there is something of a phony. But even though the, the day has actually not yet passed, though I still feel like we have completed a day's work. Oh, it really does feel good when you complete a day's work early. Yes, it does. It can even make me show off and call the ladies at the bar. I can tell them I am quite burly. But instead I shall retire for another night. I shall retire for another night. I shall. The day of seven is passing over now and it will pass into the night of seven. But I still feel happy with the day of seven for we made many progresses today. The boat is now closer to completion and the defences are stronger. Perhaps if I keep on this balance of one defence and one boat piece I will soon be managed to escape and I will make sure I still have enough power. Perhaps tomorrow I shall upgrade a tower. But for now we enter the night of seven. It is a it is a calm night, though there are quite a few clouds. Hopefully this does not create something quite profound. A situation that we cannot predict, a situation that is quite nasty. But it looks like it is just a fast moon which rises tonight. It will dance across the sky most quickly. Perhaps the moon will do a tango or a waltz. Maybe it does a waltz, a tango, a foxtrot even. What kind of dance does one associate with a moon? Many associate it with a, with, a, with, a, with a dance known as a ballet. Something which is normally used by the animator Mr. Chomet. But it looks like now we are in a wee bit of trouble. It looks like our, some monsters have broken through our wall, which I named the Wall of Hubble. But it looks like we might hold out, just provided we kill this monster who is wearing strange armor. It looks like a strange glove which he wears on his face, but with one more arrow we can, we, we can destroy him before he decides he finds another object with which to deface. And now we enter the day of eight, however we are in a quite mm, not a good situation at all my friends, no 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 no, not a good situation at all. First things first I shall return money to the donkey, the fair trader who will bring me more things. And I will repair the walls to make sure we can stand up once more. But because, because King Alexander III is a miser, he likes to mise even if it will cause his demise. He only rehires one archer for he needs to continue the construction of a boat. So he rides away, now he rides to the west. Or um, perhaps not to the west, he rides to the east. Gods do not like poetry, nor do they like compasses. They find them difficult, they find them stupid. But even at all that, perhaps this god could even one day play Cupid. But for now he rides back to the east, he's spent all his meagre money which all he can. Perhaps he should have expanded the economy beforehand. Perhaps if we could find a river which we could bridge, we could farm new crops which would create something quite useful. For three pretty coins we could create some irrigation and with lots of food we can once more be a strong nation. But without our coins we cannot do much, I cannot even invest in a gift of the gods. Perhaps if I was to further upgrade our camp, perhaps if we built our great hall, our great hall which is defended by two petty walls, perhaps then the trader may bring us more money, perhaps, perhaps our development is linked to his assets. Not the best theory I admit, so yes I do admit, but it might be a strategy which I could permit. But at least we are now coming closer to our progress. The boat now has a a bow or a stern, but I do not know. King Alexander III, neither the god who controls him, is not one for nautical terms. The boat does have many, many parts indeed. A sail, a stern, and a prow, and a bow. There is also the term starboard and port, but I do not care about starboard and port. All I should really care about is building a mighty fort. But even at that, I do not have the cash. Without cash, I have to act quite rash. And when one acts quite rash and without little cash, he can easily destroy his kingdom in a very quick flash. But the sun sets now on the day of eight and we enter the night of eight. The night which is always filled with plenty of hate. For I still ha harbour great hate for the monsters, and I also harbour plenty of hate for my archers. I do not 
I do not exactly forgive them for their failures last night, which has resulted in me having to put up an even more desperate fight. But now the night begins and hopefully my men can prepare to defend my, my walls and my fences. I just hope they, the monsters do not destroy my defences. The moon rises on the night of eight. Oh yes it does, it rises high, very very high indeed. I just hope this is not the night I have to say goodbye. When the water shimmers on the on the river, or at least does water shimmer, or does the light shimmer? The light is the one that shimmers on the water. Oh, I hear the horrible thumping. The walls are falling again, my friends. The walls are falling again, my friends. This is truly the punishment for one who decided to mise. It looks like now I could even meet my demise. That wall will not hold. It will not hold. It will not hold. We must quickly flee, we must flee, but no, the trader, the trader has been attacked. He loses his cash, he loses his assets. This is not the strategy which I needed. Without that cash, I cannot rebuild. Without that cash, I cannot rebuild. We salvaged just two petty coins, just two petty coins in total. This is not the situation I had prayed for, nor the one I wished to face. It looks like now the monsters have truly found what they needed to face. They attack my trader, yes they do, they attack him most brutally, yes they do. Now I have only five coins left to spend. I donate two to the, to the bowman and I will recruit one more archer. It is not a strategy I wish to undertake but it is what I must do as I have to grow ever harsher. As I guard my purse strings I do must guard them. I guess the best policy is to make my purse strings quite tight, even if it means that this night I will have a much harder fight. But I purchased one more part for the boat, for we must always continue our progress. Without our progress we will die, and once we die I will have to lie in the cold, muddy ground. Not a place for nobility, but unfortunately it looks like it could be the place where I end my life. My dear life, or at least the gods do not end their lives, gods are immortal, gods are immortal, however, mere kings, mere kings who only hold their authority with just a simple crown on their head, will soon have to find himself lying for an eternal slumber in the bed of the dead. But even at midday now, on a day of nine, we have completed all our tasks that I can complete. This, this does not bode well, of course, it does not bode one well bit. If my tasks are completed before the day is even halfway through, it clearly shows that my intentions are not true. But at least we have constructed more of a boat, though I can barely see a difference. I can barely see a difference. I am convinced that this thing will not float. We just seem to have a large piece of wood hanging on the end. Just one piece hanging on the end. It does not look good, my friend. Oh well, I will return back to the kingdom, I will return there most true, most true I do return, I return there through and through. Perhaps my archers will hold out for one more night, perhaps they will hold out for one more night, for I think it is now the most desperate fight. I believe now it is time for the kingdom of Snake Water to be a kingdom which is about to be slaughtered. And do not even think those monsters will show mercy. God, no, they will not show mercy. I hear their leader is a is a horrible man named Percy. But they will not show mercy, not one bit indeed. They will they will tear our blood blood out. They will tear it out. Blood can be torn with a horrible iron claw. They can do things most evil. They can do things most evil. Yes, they can. They walk over in hoods of green with faces of red. They look like a strange, strange monster, of course, but with their, with their hoods of red, it's clearly they only see one purpose in life, to make everything dead. It is not for, but it is not the true purpose of life, of course. There is more to life than awaiting our death. What the adventure is in our life is a bit that comes between the beginning and the end, the middle. The middle is always the juiciest part of a book. You can just look at any book. Just just grab a book and take a look and you will always find the juiciest part is in the middle. Perhaps you should read the middle of a book while well, also playing a lovely little fiddle. But now we have tried to hold out see, even though my walls are still weak. My walls of Palisade have once more failed me again. It looks like it might be the end again. I believe we are now stuck in the cycle, the cycle of death, which all those scriptures have told us about. The cycle where the kingdom begins to fail, the place of no recovery, the place of no return. 
And now it looks like all things must burn. <laughs> they rob the trader, yes they do, but one monster chases me. He's armed with his armor, and no, he kills my archer! <laughs> this monster has only one thing he's after. He's after my archer, and he stole my money. The money has been swallowed by the lake, and now it is the day of ten. A day where we are forecast a blood moon, but we are still forecast to fail. I do not know what to do now. I do not want to know what to do. And I cannot quail, though. I cannot quail. I would, I would enjoy eating a quail. But I do not know what to do. I have plenty of coin. Perhaps what we could do... Perhaps a cunning strategy would just be to complete the boat now. But perhaps if we could just complete it today, then we might be able to leave very soon. And if we could leave very soon... I could I could show the monsters my pantaloon. I can I can taunt them. Oh, I could taunt them so well. However, there is folly in my plan I have already noticed. However, my folly has just been cured. It seems the careless person who runs this kingdom has once more mismanaged the economy and neglected to purchase a hammer. But he purchases one now, so he is now on top of all our ice shoes. Even though there are still many things to attend to that have been raised by Brother Tengu. But come on, my citizens, show some alarm, show some alarm, or I'll do you most grievous harm. Come, 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 you must grab that hammer now, you must grab it now, there is not a second to lose. If we lose a second to lose, then we may be hung up upon a noose, even though it does not rhyme. I could change my pronunciation, I could manipulate language itself to create rhymes as I see fit. Oh yes, I could see fit. I could make many rhymes, I could make many rhymes. Language is a most powerful tool in the hands of those who know how to use it. We can use many things such as clauses and homophones, tenses and verbs, nouns and adjectives. Language is a thing of pure beauty. We can do everything we want to do with the language, yes we can do it. We can do whatever we want, we can take a word, we can manipulate it, we can even use language to assume many things about people we have never met he threw the mystical place we call the internet though it seems my strategy of desperation may not work i spent my, all my coins upon this one boat and even though it is clearly not going to float though it cannot need many more parts so i must commit to it with all my heart and of course with all my my wallet but Sounds like the occurrence is happening. The scriptures! It is happening on time. The celestial calendar is accurate for once. This is not what I needed. This is not what I needed. I was hoping the celestial calendars would be wrong. I was hoping the blood moon would be one day late. If it occurred on the night of 11, I could have survived. I could have escaped. But no, it is going to rise, isn't it? This is going to be my grave. This is going to be my grave. Oh no, I, I, I do not even have a heart to be brave. I see it rising behind the rocks. A mist of, of horrible crimson. It is like being stuck in a prison. The moon, it rises, it rises most dread. I must now prepare for a suit, I will be dead. If we had survived one more day, I could have raised the funds to complete the boat. I could have made it float, I could have escaped. But now it looks like I'm going to meet my fate. My death is coming, I know it is. Do the monsters come from left or right? They come from the right. I will hide behind this wall. Perhaps we can hold out until the moon sets. <sighs> he escaped through the walls. This is not good. There are holes in the defenses. Why are there holes in the defenses? What? Who did I pay to create these disastrous fences? Now the great horde chases me. Yes, it does. Oh, no. They steal the crown. The crown has fallen, but I have made sure to recover it. If I just ride further to the western flank, this is the only strategy upon which I can bank. Come on, come on. Rise. No! Ah, here we go. The day of 11, it begins. Perhaps we can survive. Come on, you monster. I know the daylight is something with which you cannot do. With which you cannot compete. No! Do not steal the crown. I will catch it before you can take it. But I know you cannot survive in the, in the daylight. It is something, it is an environment in which you cannot thrive. Oh, it looks like, it looks like it will not leave me. The chase is infinite, it's, it's chase is infinite. <sighs> Perhaps I should just lay down my dead and accept I am as good as dead. <sighs> King Alexander III has failed. His in his eternal quest, he has failed. Now, he, now, you know what? 
All we can call you is what the kids call you an epic fail though. <sighs> Look at this treasure. This treasure which will bring me some pleasure. If only I had found it earlier, but now the monsters even steal my treasure. Well then again, if they steal my treasure, perhaps it gives them distraction. Here, take this treasure, little monster. Huh. Perhaps with this bribery, I could survive one more day. Let us see if we... Oh no! I do not have enough coin to bribe these monsters. I do not have enough coin to bribe them at all. It was a good strategy, I know, but it looks like now I fall. Underhanded tactics do not work, and now with no crown, there is no king, and no way to win. The kingdom of Snake Water has been put to the slaughter after surviving for only 11 days. A drop in performance, I must admit. Hopefully, the next land, though, will permit my continued survival and my thrival. But for now, my friends, we, ch we close another chapter. The Kingdom of Snake Water lasted 11 days, but perhaps the next kingdom will last longer. But what lessons have we learned from the Kingdom of Snake Water? We need to find the balance. Once we find the balance, all will be good, all will be rosy, all will be posy, and everything shall be happy. If we can, if we can balance spending on the boat and spending on the fences, then we will have a kingdom which has strong fences and a boat which will float. But for now, my friends, the story is over. Until the next chapter, I hope to see you later. Goodbye, my friends and my listeners.